Hi loves, welcome to a happier vlog than my last one. Um, I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for all the kind words about the loss of Lolita, our doggie of the past 12 years. You guys know this has been a tough time for us and I just really appreciate everything it's so sweet that you've said and the cards you've sent and all the ways you've reached out. It really has meant the world to us. But that said, I want to start up a much more fun vlog today. And um, I think this weekend is gonna cheer us up a lot because tomorrow is my favorite national holiday, my husband's birthday. <laughs> and if you know me, you know I go all out on birthdays. I think life is like way too short not to just celebrate birthdays like crazy. And I go crazy for his birthday each year. Since his birthday is in August, I pretty much spend like January through August getting him birthday gifts like here and there when I see things, when I think of things, makes it a lot easier on the budget. And then I spend like August through December getting him Christmas gifts. So I'm just one of those people that if I know you and I love you, I want to give you gifts. I feel like it's such a nice way to show that you're always thinking about someone or when they're talking you're listening really closely and carefully and taking mental notes of like any hint that this man has dropped about something he's needed or wanted in the past six months he's getting in his gifts tomorrow. So <laughs> I like to go all out for that stuff and I'm going to show you guys what I got him. I'm going to show you how I'm wrapping it. I also love wrapping gifts and I think it's another nice way to show someone that you care about them like putting a little effort into the presentation and I have kind of a crazy idea for this year. It's gonna be Batman themed. It's gonna be very much up his alley, so I'm excited. Probably way more excited than him, <laughs> but that's okay. We are gonna lean into anything that can bring joy right now. And by the way, there's, again, my office is a wreck behind me. <laughs> I think that actually is very indicative of my mental state. Like how my office looks is how my brain looks. But it's for a good reason, because A, this is like birthday central, I've got birthday stuff everywhere, but B, there's a hint for my next video, because it's also fall central, I'm starting to get into the fall spirit, and I can't wait to decorate, but I wanted to do all the birthday festivities first, so that Nate didn't have to like share his birthday with my fall plans, because they are also quite <laughs> involved. But again, I'm just trying to look for those things that can bring more joy to this season for us since it's been so hard and I know it's been so hard for everybody so that's just kind of where my head is at and sorry for the mess behind me sorry for the sneak peek behind me but definitely stay tuned for my next video too if you are interested in that stuff but for now let's dive into the birthday okay welcome to gift central I'm so excited <laughs> this is a banner I'm making him I just printed out the letters for happy birthday this is a movie night gift. This is a really good budget-friendly idea because I just got this popcorn bucket at Dollar Tree. I got his favorite candies at Dollar Tree. Two packs of popcorn and I printed off this movie ticket that basically just says that he can pick the movie. And honestly, like this is something we do pretty much every night. Like he always picks. Um, but I just want to make it seem a little more special and kind of make a gift out of it by including his treats and stuff. So that's a really simple gift idea. This is a really cool decanter you know he whiskey is like his drink of choice so he usually likes to have some nice whiskey on hand and i thought that would be really pretty to pour it in there and then it's at this angle and he loves globes and like ships and i don't know all that boy stuff so i just thought that would be kind of like a more refined way to store his whiskey and i know my aunt was so sweet and got him a bottle so this will be perfect that he can decant some of it in this cool globe thingy. I just thought that was really neat how that was like on a stand and that's from Amazon. This is probably what I'm most excited about. So we have become Yahtzee players. <laughs> that has been our game of choice since quarantine started. It's like a good two-person game and we just we think it's fun so I decided to make us a custom Yahtzee game. So I got this beautiful wooden box on Amazon and lucky for me, my good friend Lisa has a Cricut machine and she knows how to cut these gorgeous stickers. So I'm so freaking lucky that she was able to help me with this. She got the gold vinyl and put our name in like this really cool logo with dice. And then inside, I attached a little like game board to the inside of the lid. And this is actually from 
like a 1970s Yahtzee game. But I just thought it was kind of cute to have like a tray to roll the dice in so that they don't, sometimes they just go crazy and like roll off the table. And then I like that it has these little dents so you can put your dice here as you're like picking your Yahtzee hand. And then in here I got this really nice custom dice cup just to like roll the dice out and it has that logo on it and this part holds the dice. I made us a custom score book and again, thanks Lisa, I have this cute decal on it. I have a little pen with it and I just thought like the whole aesthetic of this would be a little more like masculine and cool for Nate to have. This is really cute. This holds dice and it's obviously in the shape of one, but can I open it one-handed? I have a few different sets of dice that I got him. I got this really pretty handmade wooden set and it has like little brass dots. What do you call those dots? There's a word like pips or something. And then I also got this really pretty set. They're tiny. They look like ivory. And I just thought it'd be fun to have pretty dice to roll that like feel special in your hand and it just makes the game more fun. And I think he'll be excited about that. So this is our custom Yahtzee game. Very cool. <laughs> Then I got him some clothing items, this shirt. These are all from Old Navy. Isn't this shirt so pretty? I love this pattern, hopefully he will too. And just some shorts and jeans. Um, this might be like the thing he's most excited about. But I saw these little miniature arcade games and he loves arcade games and poor guy. Ever since quarantine started, you know, like the thing he's missing most is that the Dave and Buster's adult arcade is closed. So I hope that this little I mean, these things are usually kind of disappointing, right? But hopefully this will be fun for him to play. I wanted to get a bunch and make like a miniature Dave and Buster's for him in our house, but they're kind of expensive. So I just got him that one game. And back here, I have a picture frame. He did a cute little project on Facebook recently where it was like every day post one of your favorite comic book images or whatever, because you know, my boy loves comics. So. I don't know, I found it really cute that he did that. Like he carefully, every day, like thoughtfully picked which favorite comic image he wanted to share. And he's just not a social media guy really, so I thought that was cute that he did that. So I saved all the pictures that he chose because they were all special to him. That's kind of a cool frame. And then this is gonna make us cry. I already know it. But I figured we're gonna cry anyway, <laughs> honestly, like at some point, it's just, it's gonna be our first birth, his first birthday without her here. So oh, I got this photo book made of Lolita and I got this Walgreens same day um, services and I thought they did a really nice job. And I'm not gonna cry right now, but I'm sure he and I will cry going through this. It's everything from her puppy pictures to just all of our sweetest, you know, memories with her, so. Ugh, we're gonna, we're gonna be missing our girl, I already know, but I think he'll really appreciate having these photos of her. Oh, look how sweet. I tried to put an emphasis on photos of him with her. I know it's, um, like kind of a sad birthday gift, but it just didn't seem right not to acknowledge Lolita, and I felt so bad that we lost her in his birthday month, like... You know, it's just such a, like when people lose someone in the holidays, I just feel so bad for them because it's such an association. So I want to make sure he has a wonderful, wonderful birthday, but also that we're, you know, remembering her and paying tribute to her as much as we can. So that's going to be a tough one, but important. And then these final gifts, this, I know you would think nobody would want socks, but I think he's going to be so excited about all these socks. This boy goes through socks so fast. I don't know how he does it, but look at these. They have flamingos. He likes fun socks. He likes to express his personality in his socks. So we have goldfish. We have octopi. We have one of those like little sharks or something. We have bicycles. We have footballs. I just, I thought it'd be cute to get him a variety of fun socks. Pool balls, what else? Oh, dice! See, he can wear these while we play Yahtzee. Um, what is this last one? Darts. Foosball. I think he'll enjoy these. And he's been needing socks and hinting like crazy. And I'm like, dude, obviously, I got, I got it under control, boy. You're going to get so many socks. <laughs> 
I think I might actually just like take these all out separately and put them in the biggest box so it looks like it's gonna be the most fun gift and then he opens it and it's just like so many socks. <laughs> But this is his actual really special gift, and I'm so excited to give this to him. Y'all know he has a like Batman figurine collection, not dolls, <laughs> action figure figurines. And he's been really wanting to add this to his collection. It originally, I think it's supposed to be like really big, like three feet tall or something, but it's so expensive. And then they released the smaller version. I mean, it's still pretty big but hopefully he'll be okay with the smaller, more affordable version. It was, you know, it's a nice investment for his collection though, so I hope he's happy about this. I like it because it has a horse, big horse fan over here, and I think he'll just love that it's a Batman statue I knew he wanted, so that's his special gift, and I don't know, I hope they're all special. I feel like I did pretty, pretty darn good this year. And this is one last gift, I know. An embroidered dish towel is not at the top of every man's wish list. <laughs> at least not my husband's, but he's really sweet about my hobbies and I love making these, so he's usually really helpful. I'll ask him like, what color should this part be? What color should this be? And he's very patient with me and he, I think he takes some pride in like seeing my little creations in our kitchen. And this pattern just made me think of him. We kind of have a dream of getting like a vintage camper one day. And we always say this phrase, almost wherever I'm with you, it's like, it was one of our first songs together. So I thought this would be sweet, even though it's a very odd gift for a guy. But um, really, I think the main gift is that I didn't bother him with what color to make everything because he doesn't know I made this one. So that'll be a little surprise. And then also to try and save a little money on wrapping and decor, I am doing everything with just these two supplies. It's a roll of black craft paper and a stack of yellow construction paper. So I will show you how hopefully my vision is going to come together with these. Okay, this turned out to be like the biggest wrapping undertaking of my life. <laughs> it got pretty intense in here, but um, I'm so happy with the results and kind of proud because I think I just thought of this. I don't remember seeing this on Pinterest or anything, but I turned all of those gifts well, I'm not going to say what it is because you can see what it is and Nate's in the other room. But um, if you have kids or a grown-ass man that loves Batman in your life, like I do, <laughs> I think this is a really fun thing to do with the gifts and obviously way cheaper than buying wrapping paper and bows and stuff. So he's going to be excited. I'm going to set this up in the living room tomorrow. I'm not going to make him come into my office to get this display, but I had to like test it all out and space everything. I hope he loves it. All right, I am moving on to some baking. So fun. I love making him a cake and it's such a fun excuse because I'm a huge baker and we don't usually like to have a lot of cake in the house. So this is my excuse to indulge my desires to make cake and to make his favorites. So we're starting with this chocolate cake recipe. I can link this below. But just whipping up a chocolate cake from scratch, like good old fashioned homemade cake. That's the first step. So this batter is turning out delicious and I'm really happy with this recipe except it calls for adding boiling water. I've never heard of that and I feel like this consistency is already plenty liquidy enough so I don't know. I feel weird about that step. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit, not a full cup and in case it does some kind of like magic and caramelizes it or something and pour it, I don't know. But yeah, I've never heard of that stuff. Have you guys? Like, what the heck? <laughs> All right, they're going in. I hope they turn out as yummy as they smell already. Hey, birthday boy. Do you want to lick the, do you want to lick the beaters? I do. Is it like vegetables or something? No, oh, it's your birthday cake. <laughs> Lick it. <laughs> How is it? Delicious. And while the cake is in the oven, we're also going to make pudding from scratch. I have never tried this, so cross your fingers for me, but I feel like it's gonna taste so much better than store-bought pudding, hopefully. But the birthday boy has requested a pudding poke cake. 
So cute. That's what his mom used to make him, and he has like really fond memories. So I'm happy to oblige. And we're gonna see how this pudding turns out. And then that way tomorrow all I'll have to do is combine it and put icing on it and not be in the kitchen all day. All right, it is time. They sank a little bit in the middle, which is unfortunate, but I think I can work around that. And hopefully they'll be delicious anyway. All done, clean toothpick test. But yeah, I don't know why this recipe sank like that. I've never had that much sinking. So I think that means like there wasn't the right proportion of something, <laughs> maybe. Maybe that water was important, I don't know. <laughs> I did about half a cup of water instead of a whole cup of water, so. Anyway, I'm not too worried about it because there's gonna be a lot going on with this cake. Speaking of which, I have been stirring this pudding nonstop the whole time the cake was in the oven. So I now understand why people probably don't make pudding from scratch very often. It is a lot of stirring, <laughs> but I just sampled it and it tastes amazing, like totally different from box pudding. So this is pretty much done. I need to let it cool and the cakes are gonna cool and then tomorrow we will put it all together for birthday magic. In case anyone thought that was enough baking for one day, it's not. <laughs> it really was actually, but I also wanted to make a batch of cookies because I have a movie night tonight, a virtual girls movie night. And obviously that means the cookies are just for me and Nate, obviously. I wish I could share them with my fellow movie watchers, but I just wanted to make something to make it special. I will show you. I mentioned before that I had this absolutely beautiful copy of Pride and Prejudice and sprinkled throughout our recipes. Ugh, so pretty. This book is just absolutely beautiful and so fun to read. And I read it with my book club, um, I'll explain more in a minute about that, but point is, we read the book together, so now we're watching the movie together, the Kira Knightley version. And so I'm making this recipe from the book to have, aren't these the cutest little hazelnut cookies? I love hazelnut anything. So I thought these would be fun to try, and they're pretty simple to whip up since I'm already got the bacon spirit going on. And I can just make like a small batch so our house doesn't have too much junk in it because that's not helpful, but I just wanted to try these. I was gonna make scones too, but I was like, that's just, I have to draw the line somewhere. So hazelnut cookies it is. Hazelnut cookie dough is done. It was so simple to whip together, very few ingredients. Hopefully these are gonna be a fun new cookie to have in my repertoire. But we'll see how they turn out. <sighs> that was a long day. <laughs> Had almost a full work day of meetings or calls because what even are meetings <laughs> and seeing people in person? I don't know. And then did all of that baking, all of that wrapping and organizing for tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm exhausted. I just found a random bit of cake batter on my face. Sorry if I missed any more. But suffice to say, I am so ready for movie night, girls night. So ready, in fact, that I temporarily redecorated my bedroom for it. <laughs> so let me show you like the ultimate <laughs> girls night slumber party setup because apparently that's what my soul needed tonight. I just wanted like all the candlelight and all the twinkly lights to just relax and watch the movie. So I brought in these twinkly lights in here. I got these candles going, I'm burning. Black Cherry Merlot. It smells so good. Bath and Body Works scent. And I've just put more twinkly lights just temporarily over the bed frame. I have more candles over here that I will light when it's time to get started. This is my little picnic setup. I try not to block the light. I have tea because you know it's a Pride and Prejudice tea party. Like look at this. I'm on my family's old china have the um, hazelnut cookies I made. They turned out really good. They're not at all too sweet. They're almost like, you know, more of like a biscuit, like a good dipping cookie. So I'm really happy with those. And it's girls night, so I also have wine. And this is one of the fabulous goblets that I got at the Madonna Inn if you saw my Instagram. And then I have my beautiful book. I don't know why. It's not like I'm gonna read along while we watch the movie, but I'm just saying it's beautiful. It belongs here. <laughs> 
And then I built like a shrine throne for my computer so that I could have the movie packed on top there. And then last but not least, I prepared myself a little basket of skincare because while the movie's going, I thought I would take my makeup off, put a face mask on, do some jade rolling and just, you know, chill. I'm so excited. <laughs> So I realize I haven't really explained the movie night thing, but um, I have a Patreon Milk and Honey Life Club and I never, ever talk about it. But there's a link in the description below every single video I ever post, but it's kind of hiding in plain sight because like, let's be real, no one reads under the video. Like you just scroll and find the one link that you're actually looking for. So I don't mention it because I just don't have like a sales bone in my body. As you guys know, I'm just, like, I'm not here to tell anybody what to do with their money, etc. And I just like that it's kind of like a secret thing, although now we're talking about it, but I mean, whatever, you guys are cool. Like, the small amount of people that watch my vlogs. Um, I just like that it's like a secret club for the people that have gone out of their way to find it, basically. And it's just like a private Facebook group, and it helps me like weed out any possible trolls at, or dudes, no offense dudes but you know there's not like random guys asking for like foot pictures it's just a few of us like tight-knit girls from the milk and honey crew and I should talk about it more because those girls are the backbone of milk and honey life like I absolutely could not still have my channel this long if I if it weren't for their support over the years I should give them a lot more credit and I don't and I just don't like to talk about it because I just never want to seem like I'm asking people or trying to make people feel like they need to join the Patreon. So that's why it's like a very hush-hush secret society. <laughs> but I have actually made some really dear friends for life in that group, so it means a lot to me. And I try to keep it fun for everybody. Like right now we're actually doing a group weight loss challenge, which is awesome to have the healthy motivation from each other. Although here I am making hazelnut cookies, so <laughs> we help each other and we also are bad influences on each other. <laughs> Um, we do book club in there, we do movie nights, and like I do private live streams with Nate. And it's just for the Patreon people because I just don't want like random... I feel like I'd be really overwhelmed in a live stream with random people in it. But when it's just like 30 people that I know, I can actually get back to every single question. And I don't know, it's just, I like it being a small intimate group. So that's who tonight's movie night is with. We're gonna do a little Zoom tea party. So we can all just see each other's faces. Like I need face-to-face -face girl time so bad. <laughs> like, I got to see my aunt a few days ago and she hugged me and it was one of the best moments of my life. I haven't hugged another human since February, other than Nate. Nate's hugs are amazing, <laughs> but they almost don't count if you know what I mean. I just really miss people. This quarantine has been tough. This year has been tough. This past couple weeks has been tough. You guys know everything. So suffice to say, I'm just so excited to have some like face-to-face -face girl time. We're gonna do a little Zoom tea party and then we're gonna watch the movie together on Netflix party, which is really cool. If you haven't tried it, you can have like a chat with your friends on the side and then everybody's watching the movie perfectly synced up. So Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorite movies. These are some of my favorite girls and I have set the scene to just relax. <laughs> And I feel like that's gonna be good for me before running around like crazy to make sure Nate has the best birthday ever tomorrow. So that's the situation here. Time to unwind. So romantic. We're all just like dying in the chat. <laughs> uh, swoon. Trying to find a way to chat with you guys in bed. <laughs> oh, girls' night was so fun. <sighs> it was so cute to watch Pride and Prejudice with everybody. I'm sorry, I look like extremely shiny. I just did all my <laughs> skincare stuff, so I'm very moisturized. Um, and then after movie night, I made myself go clean up because. I left the kitchen a disaster from all my baking and I just didn't want to wake up to that tomorrow with Nate's birthday and I have a lot more I'm planning to do in the kitchen tomorrow so I was like gotta take care of that and I'm just so excited for his birthday 
It's like Christmas Eve for me. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep. <laughs> I'm way more excited about Nate's birthday than Nate is, but he's walking DC right now. And um, I just hope I can sleep tonight. I'm so excited. I just want to wake up and go put his gifts out like Christmas morning, you know? So anyway, I'm going to try and rest. And I know tomorrow's going to be really fun and I'm so happy to have that to look forward to and I'm so happy that I got to have some like quality girlfriend time tonight um it was cute because we were all like just swooning over Mr. Darcy I love that version of Pride and Prejudice like that moment when he holds her hand to help her into the carriage and then as he's walking away he like flexes his hand <sighs> So romantic. Oh my gosh. Sexiest movie scene. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> Sometimes it's like the understated things, you know? Also, But also the scene in that movie when it's raining and they get in a fight but then they like almost kiss. It's like so magnetic. So anyway, all us girls were like going nuts. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, so it's just always nice to have like that female energy sometimes in your life because I haven't been able to have many girls nights and um, I guess that's it. Good night. Love you guys. <laughs> Good morning. It's finally birthday day. <laughs> Very excited. Obviously more excited than Nate because I jumped up out of bed early and he's sleeping in a little bit, which is perfect because I have to run to Party City and pick up my order. And we gotta put all these gifts out. And of course I'm gonna make him his favorite breakfast. So that is what's next on the agenda for today. DC and I are at Party City to pick up balloons and things to decorate the cake. And what else did I get? I think that's mainly it. I tried to not go crazy on this birthday, but <laughs> the more I look at myself, the more I realize I did indeed go crazy. But that's just me. Nate knew that when he married me. So <laughs> it could be worse, right, bud? birthday decor is complete. I'm very, very happy with this display. And of course we have our balloons. This is all ready for birthday meals and I thought my DIY banner turned out pretty cute. And then this is the bar where I'm going to serve dinner later so decorated that just a little bit. I'm so happy with everything. I wish we could actually have like friends over and you know have a normal birthday, but we're gonna make it super special, just the two of us this year. Actually, the three of us, right, DC? Yeah. Good morning, birthday boy. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Wow, my God. <laughs> what do you think? Looking. Yeah. Whoa. You feeling the festivity? You're so big. <laughs> Oh, it's video. Oh, shoot. Okay, wait. Of course it's video. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, you're cute. I thought we were head. posing. I was like, okay. Well, that's bright. Sorry. He just woke up and I'm just assaulting him with sunlight yeah. and cheerfulness. I threw on, I don't usually just come out in a button down shirt. I want you to know. She warned usually, me that I might be on camera. Usually, you want them to know that you usually come out naked? <laughs> Not naked, but like a t shirt or something. Yeah. Not much. 
Okay, so are you so excited? Did I do good? Do you, yeah. feel, do you feel so cheerful and happy? So bright. Um, yes, I do, and I can't believe the cityscape. It's amazing. I thought of that by my, my that? own damn self. That's not even off Pinterest or nothing. Are you going to post it to Pinterest? You should. I don't only really post on Pinterest. You should post it to something. I'm going to post it to YouTube. That's true. What? What? I'm sorry <laughs> that I... All right, I'm gonna let you go off camera. I feel bad. I just like really tackled him, <laughs> but time That's to make though, birthday you. breakfast. It's his favorite eggs Benedict, and I get a little nervous trying to make this breakfast. I'm not the best at poaching eggs. I don't even eat meat, so anytime I make bacon, I'm like, am I doing this right? But um, I've pulled this off before, so I'm hoping to pull it off again. And I just want to make sure he has his favorite breakfast since we're not going out to restaurants right now so yeah that would not be good to go with. wish me luck yeah oh no, you can talk like a uh why are you on the ground he's down there he's, DC. he's been down there playing with dc <laughs> dc show us your bow tie buddy hey look how dapper sit sit you're so dapper he's wearing his batman bow tie for daddy's birthday a good you're a good boy <laughs> So we are gonna open a special bottle. We had a little getaway like a month ago and saved that. Take your time, just... birthday boy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Opa! Look at that smoke. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, that is perfection. We are gonna have some mimosas. Breakfast is served. We have bat fruit with blueberries and pineapples. I don't know how the, <laughs> this turned out. We're concerned. Happy birthday. To me. To you. <laughs> if your kitchen doesn't look like this after <laughs> making birthday breakfast, did you even make birthday breakfast? <laughs> I definitely did, so. It's sticky. I gotta address this situation in here. Nate has decided he wants to chip away at his gifts all day, which is the fun part of having so many gifts. That's why I always like to wrap everything separate and like make as big of a deal as possible out of it so that we have a lot to chip through during the day. And he chose this one, so I don't know if you guys remember what this one is, but... <laughs> is it he thinks it looks like a comic book and I warned him it's not fun. Oh. I know. Oh. I'm sorry. My instincts were right. Oh, it's a book? Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Here I go. I know. So sweet. Yeah. I don't want to make us cry today, but I felt like we were probably going to cry anyway. This so. is so sweet. Aww. These are the years I, the year I missed. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera okay. so we can cry freely. You want to say anything to the camera first? I think I can make it. I think I've cried. <laughs> cried all the tears? Cried we keep thinking tears that and then no. Yeah. I just wanted her to still be here on your birthday somehow, babe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the rest of our birthday festivity plans for today. I'm going to make some icing also from scratch. And super simple, just butter and confectioner sugar and vanilla extract. So I'm one of those weirdos that kind of likes canned frosting. <laughs> like, I think that tastes really good. But Nate loves my homemade icing. So I'm going to make this and then I'm going to assemble the Batman cake. Frosting is complete, but we have to do the taste test. That is good buttercream frosting. And I added a little yellow food coloring so it's like on point with the Batman theme. All right, it is frosted. And I was able to atone for the sagging that was happening. And my book is just a good thing because that means I had more room for pudding and frosting, so. <laughs> and I didn't do like the cutest job with the frosting because I'm going to cover it with M&Ms. But first I'm calling in the expert to draw a bat symbol on his own cake. I hate to put him to work, but he's been training his whole life for this, so. Are you ready? <laughs> the city needs me. <laughs> you can use that toothpick. See? What would I do with it? Just lightly draw on the icing, and then you can erase oh, if you need interesting. to. Oh, interesting, like. You can smudge over it if you need to. Like, don't just put the M&Ms right away. I mean, if you feel that kind of confidence in your skill, but I think it might be good to have a yeah, little bummer. Yeah, maybe, right, okay. 
All right, I think I'm gonna do a surprise reveal on the rest of the cake decoration, so get ready. And the cake is done. I think those M&Ms turned out to be a really fun way to decorate it. I put as many candles as I could on there, and it's, this is going to be quite a celebration. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> but for now, I'm just gonna put it away to have later tonight after dinner, but that's off of my to-do list so we can just enjoy birthday fun. But we're gonna get out now and go to the park, take the doggy and fly some kites. So cute, Nate actually loves flying kites. So hopefully there's enough wind today. It is really hot outside. Hopefully there's enough wind that we can get some kites up. Isn't this just the happiest little kite? Oh, it does crazy tricks. So what's all this? We have fake chicken, orange chicken, coconut shrimp, oh my goodness. Thai pot stickers, and in here, oh, oh. De resistance. So look at that craziness: coconut shrimp, orange chicken, pot stickers, homemade sushi, <laughs> some fruit. Like anybody's gonna eat fruit at a buffet, you know. <laughs> I have my first customer at the Charlotte Buffet. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> wow, I'm stealing the biggest one. Go for it. Wrong, no, honey, all the, the, what is that called? King crab? That's yeah. all you. That's like colossal king crab. Lake and lake. You see him falling asleep? Yeah. He's bored with my birthday. We're watching daddy open presents. He's not even falling asleep. <laughs> oh, this is like... Like Do you have any guesses? Something fancy, whatever it is. The networks. What? Oh wow! Oh wow! That's fancy. Oh man, we've been playing Yahtzee. Yeah. I guess they know all that. They know. <laughs> It's our custom Now We're at Yahtzee set. How in the world? Did you... Isn't that cool? It says the Now It's on everything. I know. The next stage of birthday awesomeness has begun. <laughs> we are in Germany. <laughs> yeah, can't you tell this is a real castle? <laughs> it's not Disneyland and it's not Europe, but it is. Camelot fun <laughs> golf land or something like that. So I never really got a chance to tune in before dinner and explain why right. on earth we would ever eat that much. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell them? No, I didn't really explain that, but um, but better it works. that's helpful, thank you. But every year <clears throat> we go to a buffet for Nate's birthday. It's tradition. A seafood buffet. A seafood buffet, because he loves crab legs and lobster and all that stuff. And buffets are Germ germally questionable even in the best of times, much less in a pandemic. So obviously they're not even open and we wouldn't have even considered that. So that's why I made a buffet at home, by the way, in case you thought that was alarming. It was alarming. We are both so full, but oh, we have hurts. leftovers for like weeks. So that's... I'm adding to my COVID-15. Yeah, quarantine 15 is a real too. thing. So anyway, now we're going mini golfing for our date night, birthday night activity. I'm so excited that water bottle's loud. <laughs> I'm so excited because we don't do things anymore. We're very quarantined, but Nate had this idea and I was like, there's no way that's open. And it was open. Because it's an outdoor. Because it's outdoor, it's very socially distanced. We made it <coughs> tea time, how cute is that? So that way we're like, they're spacing out the golfers so we don't have to worry about other people like on the course with us. And it's gonna be so fun to mini golf. Nate gets like really competitive though. <laughs> Not like angry, just... No, it's cute. But I'm like the type of person that doesn't really like to keep score. She'll, she'll like pick up the ball when she's done. It's so tedious. Like, let's just, you know. Just and then she fun. decides she's done. <laughs> so anyway, also I guess I should address the fact that we are matching. Mm -hmm. Sort of. It's Be close. Before everyone says, Nate's such a trooper, and he has such a hard life for wearing pink shirt on his birthday. What are you going to say? This was my idea? 
No. <laughs> but I want to remind you who woke up to an entire cityscape well, of gifts Gotham this morning. City. So he doesn't have it that bad, you guys. Mm -hmm. But he did agree to match with me. We're wearing our cute little festive pink outfits that you might have seen on my Instagram from a recent little getaway that we did. So anyway, yep. now we're gonna golf it up and it's gonna get hardcore, man. Yes, competition <laughs> is fierce. And I brought some sanitizing wipes so I can wipe the balls and the clubs and the little tiny pencil and everything because we are very, very careful. Oh, and of course we have masks, like obviously, oh, sure, but yeah. look how pretty my mask is. Um, isn't this so beautiful? It's like lacy pink, obviously. So pretty. My aunt got it. I'll have to ask her where it was from, but I mean, if you gotta wear one, you might as well. Be cute. It's just like your underwear. <laughs> it, what if it just is underwear? <laughs> Re repurposed. <laughs> oh my god. Hopefully you have it inside out. <laughs> It's a very tricky hole. Oh no! It was it was in. Oh, brutal! Good job, babe. Every time I always lose my ball, and this poor man has to fish it out of this gross fountain. Thank you, honey. <laughs> this is a really pretty golf course. And it's a really pretty night. The moon is up there. This is trickier than it looks because it's got a, like a, yeah. Bam. It's cake time. Watch out, baby, you're in the flame. I am the flame. This is gonna take a while. All right, ready? Okay, yeah. Okay, make it good. <laughs> My eyebrows. Be careful, be careful, okay. Okay, blow, blow. okay um, make it a good wish. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Take that, COVID. He's got lungs of steel. <laughs> good job. I love that. Take that, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Look at the boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Official cake tasting review. Take one. I must confess I already had a bite, but. Okay, take two. <laughs> That's delicious. Yay. It tastes like the best birthday ever. Oh, I hope that's <laughs> what this is. And you still have a few more gifts over there. He saw mm. me working on this, but he didn't know what it was. I never saw it. Oh. <laughs> Home is wherever I'm with you. How'd you find that, or did you make it? I found the pattern for it. I know you made it, but wow. <laughs> Perfect color choices. You know, the real gift is I didn't harass you about color choices. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm honored when you do that. That's awesome. Aww. We need to get that van. I know, right? <laughs> that is a, her Volkswagen bus. Home, nice, baby. Home is wherever I'm with you, babe. I'm gonna wear it right now. <laughs> I know a dish towel is not like what most Honey, I love it. dudes want, but <laughs> I, do want it. I knew you'd appreciate the artistry. And I know you worked a long time because I wasn't allowed to look yeah. for a long time. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mm. Thank you so much. Now I will sleep. Now I will wash my face because my eye makeup has gotten crazy. Have you been crying? Tears of joy, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I think I better call it for this vlog. Hopefully I squeezed enough birthday joy in that it cheered you guys up a little if you needed it. Just wanna bring some more fun and happiness into our lives right now and of always all of your lives and always wishing the absolute best for you guys. Love you and I hope that this crazy, insane, <laughs> as my friend Nanette says, dumpster fire of a year is um, working out okay for you guys. So please stay safe and healthy. And um, if you need any excuse to make the most out of little everyday things right now, I say go for it. We had a fun, really memorable weekend and um, that's such special right now. That counts for a lot right now. So thank you for sharing it with us. Thank you for joining and I will see you very soon. Bye.